Come on, come on, come on, come on. Chop, 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 chop. Mandarin, mid note, passion fruit, bass note, amber. Well, hello, how do you do? How are you? That's good. Who me? I'm still hot. I still got. You got me? I'm here. I'm there. How do you do? How are you? That's good. Please. Somebody. It could be you. It might be you. It might be you. Hey, everybody. It's Agent, aka No Sense Frags. How's everybody doing out there? Well, it's that time of year for Valentine's Day. So I figured I'd do a quick collaboration with Fragrancy Robinson. And we came up with our top 10 uh, fragrances for Valentine's Day. Now, these could be either something that you want to personally wear or you want to, ladies, purchase for your significant others. All right. Again, these are not coming in any particular order. They are just my five. So we're going to start out with this particular fragrance. It does. Let me get some, get my notes because this one I couldn't remember, so you got to forgive me. Um, this has Star Nice, Bargamot, uh, Anna Green Leaves, Cinnamon Bark, Balsam Fir, Purple Sage, Vanilla, White Musk, Tonka, Cashmere Wood, and Vetiver. And this is what I think is a great buy for money. And it's coming out of the house of Perry Ellis. And that is none other than M. Okay. This is a really, really great fragrance. It's a very sexy fragrance. So this is one of my go-tos for date night. And the best thing about it is you can get a bottle this size. I got this at Ross for like 16 bucks, I think. No more than 20 bucks. And this is a 100 ml bottle. So, Perry Ellis M. Another one. Now, <laughs> I put this in because here in Texas, it's, it's going to be a little warmer than in, I mean, you know, in most states. Blue de Chanel. Now, this is a great anytime, any occasion fragrance. And I really think this would be great for a date night, especially on Valentine's Day. You want your ladies to get close to you, put on a couple of these, a couple of spray, sprays of these. And this is the Eau de Parfum version. Um, I like this a little bit better than the Eau de Toilette, but hey, what can you say? Next one is coming out of the house of Valentino, and that is Womo. Now this is, you wanna wear this for Valentine's, but this is for me, you're gonna take it to um, someplace like um, an upscale restaurant, you know, that type of deal. This is when you really put on your suit and you really want to impress her, especially if it's your first Valentine's. This one. So, great fragrance, great projection, great performance, and it smells really, really good. You get the roasted coffee, the hazelnut, <clears throat> and the chocolate. You cannot go wrong with this. Now, these are personally some of my favorites. The first one is going to be Dear Own Intense. And this is. I actually got to take a spray of this. Y'all got to forgive me. But this, oh boy. Hmm. That iris, which gives you that lipsticky vibe. And that kind of like cocoa vibe. This one. The ladies really love. So, ladies, trust me. You want to get this for your man for Valentine's Day? And, fellas, if you're going out on a date for Valentine's Day, you want to rock this one. Then, my last but not least is going to be Dior Own. Now, this is another great one. I'm actually going to spray on this other hand. I love the Dior uh, Own line. I really do. The only one I have, haven't gotten is the uh, Dior Own. Oh. I'm working on that one. Man, this is a softer iris, but you can't go wrong with it. Um, so here's my top five. Hope you guys like. I picked out five fragrances that I really believe um, fit the category for Valentine's Day. It's sweet. They're nice. They're romantic. They fit right into that category. So I wanted to just get started with my honorable mention. I just had to have one. Sorry if I'm looking over here. That's where um, I see myself. So I like. I just might like to make sure that I look okay um, when I'm talking to you guys. So my first honorable mention is Serge Luten's Five O'clock Au Gingembre. I think I said that right. We'll just call it Serge Luten's Five O'clock. This thing is magical, and I do have my notes down here. So if I am looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes. Um, it has dark cocoa, honey. 
candy ginger and bergamot. This thing is romantic. It reminds me of a night sitting by the fire, something like that. So if you have a date and you want to take them out um, to someplace dark and outside and something woodsy, like you're sitting by the fire or roasting marshmallows, this is perfect. It's sweet. It's beautiful. It has a perfect amount of sweetness, right? It's not overkill. And it smells like gingerbread cookies. And I think that's the, the, the thing that got to me, the gingerbread smell. So that's my honorable mention, Serge Lutens 5 o'clock Al Gingimbre, uh, if you guys can see that. And I believe it was about $80, maybe even cheaper, depending where you get it. All right. So the rest of my list is not in any particular order. Um, it's just going right out there. All right. So next on my list is Midnight in Paris by Van Cleef and R. Pels. This is the Eau de Toilette, um, and you can find this for under $30. I would blind, well, I did blind, blind buy this, and it was only like 20 something dollars, and I would do it again if I ever run out of this. This is a 4.2 ounce. It comes with a lot of juice. Um, what you're gonna get out of this is citrus notes, leather, tonka, and incense. So it kind of has this mysterious vibe, has a little bit, you get the, some of that leathery too, and it smells like something you'd wanna eat. Um, so definitely wear this if you're gonna go on a really nice date, someplace nice to like a nice restaurant and you're gonna be close with this person. I definitely recommend getting this. I love this, I've worn it. I wore it yesterday, I was on a date, I wore it yesterday. And I thought it worked beautiful. I did about maybe four sprays with this. Um, and I, I usually spray this on my skin, not on my clothes, on my skin. Uh, <laughs> so ho hopefully you guys try that one out. I really love this. Um, next on my list, I think you guys already know it's going to be on this list. I think it should be on everybody's list for something Valentine's Day and romantic. It's no other than YSL's La Nuit de Lome. Um, this fragrance, I mean, I have a lot of juice in it because there's so many to choose from when I'm going on a, on a date or something romantic. There's just so much to choose from. Um, you can get this for around $60, $70, I believe. And it's definitely for nighttime use. So if you're going somewhere at night, this is perfect for that. It's sweet, it has cardamom, bergamot, cumarin, and vetiver. This thing is nice, it's beautiful, it has this dark sweetness to it. I mean, if someone doesn't like this, please leave a comment down below on why you don't like this, because this thing is good. All right, so next on my list is not a uh, sweet fragrance, but it does get the compliments. And that's no other than Dior Sauvage. This thing, I mean, I'm speechless because I did a review on this and, you know, I wasn't that impressed because I have other Dior's in my collection and and now, I mean, because of all the compliments that I'm getting from this thing, whew, I would buy it 10 times over. This thing is amazing. It gets a bunch of compliments, probably my most complimented fragrance in my collection right now this thing is so good and i just got it i mean i got it probably a month after it was released um and i've gotten so many compliments so it's again it's not sweet but you will get patchouli bergamot ambroxan pepper and lavender so it does have that little lavender in there in there it's very irresistible it's classy it's elegant you feel sophisticated you feel so fresh and I've gotten that compliment before um, I had one of my co-workers ask me if I just got out of the shower with this or what soap do I use and I'm like I, I mean I shower but I usually try to use like unscented soap if I'm up to it but this thing is so good um, leave a comment down below if you agree with me on this one 2015 release really good stuff next on my list is Thallium Paris this thing, I did do a review on it. Super sweet, super nice. If you, I mean, you could overdo this thing because it's that sweet. It's very overpowering for me. Um, it's under $20. So for under $20, I think you can go ahead and blind, blind buy this. Um, it's, 
it's safe that way. It's fresh, sweet, fruity, powdery. It's any time wear. So this doesn't have to necessarily be only for nighttime. This could definitely be for a daytime wear. Um, if you're going to the day, uh, like a lunch date or something like that. This is perfect. Um, I do about four to five sprays depending. I don't want to overdo it. And then you get about four to six hours uh, with that. So that's not too bad. That's pretty good in my book. Um, and last but definitely not least is Rojas Man. And I think you guys should know that this has to be on everybody's Valentine's Day list. Um, this thing has like that cocoa, that sweet cappuccino feel. It has lavender, mocha, vanilla, bergamot. And then it has this weird design that it's a little questionable, but I really do enjoy having it in my collection because it's different. I don't have something like this in my collection. So I'm very happy to own this in my collection. And wow, it's just so good. Oh, it's super sweet. As soon as you smell the cap, you'd, you'd want to buy it because... I mean, it's like cappuccino with whipped cream on top. And that is my favorite thing that anybody can ever gift me or anything that you can ever like smell. Um, so this is perfect if you're going on a date, you want to get close to this person and you want them to really enjoy what you're wearing. Definitely go with this. I think it lasts a pretty okay amount of time. I think I get around five hours um, and I do about four to five sprays with this one too um and i definitely spray this on my clothes because it lasts longer or um you could spray it on your pulse point and put some vaseline on there wait five minutes spray it again that way it'll last longer too so thank you so much 